a new episode of the Bowl and Beautiful. We open up with Hope and Thomas making out. And she tells Thomas to make her forget about her dad and Sheila. MC Brooke tells Deacon that Hope is ho- ho- hurt and begs her to talk to him. And Brooke again demands to tell Sheila to get lost. And we see Lee calls out Luna for running to RJ and says that she is no different from her mom. And RJ tells Lee that she doesn't get to decide what Luna does. And Lee tells her to say goodbye to Forster and RJ and never come back. Then we see RJ defends that Lula deserves her job and they won't lose her. And Lula asks to talk to her aunt alone. And Lee tells her to make a smart choice and leave town before it gets worse. Then we see Sheila defends that her and Deacon care about each other. And Brooke questions if Deacon really has feelings for Sheila. And Deacon tells Brooke to look into her his eyes and he she will see that he cares about Sheila. Brooke questions how Deacon could possibly have feelings for Sheila. And Deacon says that they make each other happy and they question each other. They understand each other. Deacon promises that he will keep Sheila in check and she will not be a threat to the family. Then we see Luna defends that she will live here. And Lee says that Luna will blow up her life just like her mom did. Lee thinks that her sister is worthless and moving from job to job and festival to festival. And Luna claims that she loves fashion and is her dream and says that she will not allow Lee to take it from her. Then we see Hope demands that Thomas say it. And Thomas says he loves her and she has his undivided love. And I'm like, Hope. You are gaslighting Thomas's obsession. And once it blows up, I don't want you or your mom to be blaming Thomas. Then they continue to fuck. And I'm like, hope you're just a slut like your mother. No different. Then we see Bridge tells Deacon no one can keep she- them safe from Sheila. And Deacon defends that he loves Sheila and says that Sheila will never be a threat to the Forrester family. Then we see Luna says that she will not allow Lee to make her small the same way she did to her mom and tells lee that as a bigger sister they need she should have united the family lee says that she will not allow luna says that she will not allow lee to take her job opportunity away nor rj and we see sheila thanks deacon for standing up for her and they confess their love for each other then we see thomas and hope are still are in the first office putting back on clothes and Thomas confesses his love and then we hear Brooke knocking on the door and asks why the door is locked. Hope goes over to open the door. Brooke comes in and sees Thomas half naked and says that you've got to be kidding me. Then we see Lee defends that she is not trying to be... Luna defends that she's not trying to be disrespectful. She is not leaving RJ and Forster. And Lee tells her that time will tell and leaves. And RJ runs in. And Luna, te- Luna tells him that she stood up to her aunt. And she loves RJ. And we see Brooke and Ta- asks Thomas to leave so that she can talk to Hope alone. And Brooke isn't happy with Hope or Deacon and their bad decisions in partner. Then they discuss Deacon being in love with Sheila. And Brooke got can't get through to Deacon. But she wants to get through to Hope when it comes to Thomas. And Hope doesn't want to hear it. And calls her and Thomas a relationship. And Hope says that she knows Thomas loves her even though she doesn't love him. And Brooke calls her out. And tells her that she is playing with fire. And what happens when Thomas can't control his feelings anymore? What's going to happen then? And we see Thomas is having some obsessive thoughts in the hallway. And we end with broke warning hope that Thomas is dangerous. Thanks for watching. Bye.